So the lid for the centre console cubby in the P38 does in fact have a gas strut and that is supposed to hold it open when you open it. But on pretty much every P38, it just flops closed. So for this job, obviously you need a new strut. You can get that from Brit Part or any uh, Land Rover part specialist. Uh, crosshead screwdriver. You might find a short one is a little bit easier to get into the screws uh, to release the frame from the top of the centre console, but this length is fine also. A flat headed screwdriver or similar edge or blade for levering off the little star washer that holds one end of the strut to the frame of the lid. A drill for drilling out the rivet that's on the other end of the strut. And you probably want a three or a four mil drill bit depending on the exact side of the rivet, size of the rivet that's in there at the moment on the end of that. Now, I use just an ordinary rivet gun like the one that you would buy in Halfords or, or similar with ordinary rivets. There might be better ones to get, I don't know. But what seemed to work for me was a four millimeter rivet just for uh, going through the little hole on the end of the um, of the strut and this one has a, a one centimeter uh, length on the on the rivet so to take this off the console the first thing to do is to remove the rear ashtray and that is held on by these two screws here and, and here which may well already be loose because i've undone these already but you often find that the the little thread that is underneath these two screws it's just embedded in a little bit of plastic and it's quite often uh, non-existent so um it just the ashtray rests in there quite happily without really causing any issues so don't worry if it's if if the threads have, have, have are busted um then this little finisher piece if you pull that off just sits in there and uh, that reveals the hinge on the back uh, of the uh, of the cubby lid and there's the actual screws that attach the, that hinge rail to the console are then back the other side so we'll now get back to the front of the car to undo those So open it up and they're literally they're just you've got one, two, three on the inside there. Right, and away it comes. So all we've got to do now is drill out and then replace that rivet and also just carefully leave lever off that star washer now you can get a replacement star washer if you mangle it i forget what the size is but i remember i think i bought like a generic when i did this job before ages ago on another car i, I had a i just got like a generic sort of packet of star washers and, and one of them fitted it was it was a little silver thing but let's try and reuse the original to spin you can just sort of like change the angle of the bit a bit and that will tend to Ah, pinged off. Let's see if I can find that. All right, found it. And uh, yeah, no damage. Perfect. So if you've got the orient, um, the tray orientated like this, the 
the cylinder end should go in the middle on the middle pivot there and then the rivet goes on the hinge end or at least that's how this one was so i assume that's correct so i'm just going to pop that back there put my little star washer back on there we go, just clips back on perfect and then get it straight yeah that bit the hole in the end of the um of the rod should be on the inside of the hole in the hinge so i've now just got to find a suitable suitable rivet now unfortunately i just had a bit of an issue with a camera so i didn't capture the moment where i actually installed the rivet but essentially i used an ordinary rivet like you'd get from a rivet kit that you'd buy in halfords uh, this one is has got a one centimeter shank and it's a four millimeter rivet so you just if you take your rivet gun like this you just uh, select the correct head for it stick it in like that clip it and it should break and i'd say a centimeter is about right for that if you use anything shorter it won't really grip the inner hole of the uh, of the strut properly any longer longer doesn't really matter but it just perhaps doesn't look look as neat but that works all, all well now so if you just want to test that you haven't riveted the two together too tightly just twist the, the hinge like that and as you can see that's going in and out no problem so time to put it back on the car so line your screws up the hinge rail So first difference we can see is that the lid actually stands in the upright position. So let's pop it down. There we go. And it still needs a little bit of assistance um, when you first when you first lift it. You get it to about there, and then you just give it a little flick, and open it comes. I think they were possibly always like that. I'm not really bothered uh, that it doesn't sort of flip up like a spring. Um, first of all, I'm not sure they were supposed to be that strong, but also the plastic catch here isn't particularly strong. And if the um, if the strut was like really powerful, you might find that it didn't want to sit down particularly well. Um, but this is a happy, happy medium, you know, it opens just enough for you to be able to get your fingers just there and up and then of course if you want to test the cup holder function it's still working clip it down there we go and then again release over again and yeah job done just got to reinstall the ashtray and uh, job's good so put the cosmetic cover back over the hinge it's a bit of a fiddle you've got to get it in the right channel at the top here but then it sort of slides um down there we go and then finally you want to pop the ashtray back in place and that is just held on by two uh, screws either side there and here now sometimes the threads for these screws here uh, kind of disintegrate or the little bit of plastic that they screw through is missing doesn't necessarily matter as long as the ashtray is firmly seated in the back of the console the flip, uh, flip up and close mechanism should still work perfectly fine. There we go.